enemies of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Deuteronomy 28, read that departed from the laws of our father. That's why we're here in America. We're not here in America because we're Africans or just because the so-called white men came to Africa and uh, took us into captivity. We're here for a reason. We have a purpose. What is that purpose? Get it right. Get it right. That's why we're here. Now, we don't want to be here and still transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father and get part of the judgment that's coming in the end. Fire and brimstone. This chastisement should be enough. This should make everybody say, man, I need to straighten up. I need to understand this book properly. Why? Because I need to save myself and my household. But in religion, we don't see that. Everybody for self. Everybody say, it's okay, they're children. We had one brother say to us, we were talking about the Sabbath. How do, what do the children do on the Sabbath? This cat told me, because his child was one or two years old, whatever, he could run around, play with toys, watch TV and whatever, till he come of age and then learn. That don't make sense to me. Because my children began it from the cradle. The baby do not play with toys on the Sabbath. Is that a hard thing? Not at all. They learn this thing. So my children know from the cradle. I don't have to wait till he becomes 13, 14 years old when he's so corrupted in madness. Now it's hard. Now I've got to fight with him. No. From the cradle, they learn righteousness. So it won't be so hard to make a transition when they get older. Or yet you want to hold... I mean, we go through this with people, man. We sit down with people. We go through these scriptures. But like I said in religion, everybody going for self. Let them... They children. They children. They children. Children need to learn. There's children out here killing each other. There's children out here killing each other. So what? We should be having... Pascal Fest on the Lord's Sabbath and all these things for the children. No, man. We can have some type of gospel fest. It's going to be all about these scriptures. No gang, no basketball, no rappers, no actors. All about these scriptures. No boys to men. Definitely not. It's all about these scriptures. All about these scriptures. But yet, in religion, they say it's okay to children. The Lord is coming to burn men, women, and children. You don't believe that, huh? Your God didn't tell you that. You didn't read about that with your God, huh? I'm going to show you what your God said. Hold off on that. Give me that. Right. Ezekiel 9. I'm going to show you what the Lord said. I mean, this thing, this is the, this is the prophecy. Because this, this, this hasn't come through yet. Right. Ezekiel 9 and 5. To the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, spite. Let not your eyes fear, neither have you pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the murk. Don't come near who? Any man upon whom is the murk. Don't come near any man upon whom is the mark. What is the mark? The mark of the most high is righteousness. But prior to that, he said, slay utterly old and young, women and children. Read it again, huh? Because these people, they, they twist it in religion. They say, oh, don't worry about it. We need to worry about it. Because the Heavenly Father is coming to burn men, women, and children. Read it again. Ezekiel 9 and 6. Slay utterly old and right. young. Both maids and little children. Maids and little children. What is a maid? A maid is a virgin. Not too much somebody cleaning your house. A maid is a virgin. So all, contrary to what all these young, some of these young children think, that if I don't have sex, I can get salvation. Because some of these young virgins are corrupted in their mind. They doing some outrageous things. The virgins. They think they're virgins. Oral sex. Yeah. They, think they, they perform an oral sex thing. But thinking that they're retaining their virginity. You're defiling yourself. You're no more virgin. You're no more maiden. Your mind is defiled. Your mind is defiled. Understand that. So slay only maid and children. Read it again. Ezekiel 96, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, uh -huh. and women, will come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Oh, that's another point. Who's going to lead this charge? The men. Who's going to get the mark? The men. Now it's the men's responsibility, Psalm 78 and 1. It's the men's responsibility to raise this household up, man. But what do we see in the earth today? Who's raising up? Who's trying to lead the charge? It's the women. Why? Because the men done fell off. The men done lost courage. Why? Because they done seen all the hypocrisy in religion. 
So they done lost courage in that. They have no confidence in the Heavenly Father no more. We stand it up. We gonna put the confidence back in the men because it's up to us to get the seal of the Most High to save our children. Either. Psalm 78 and 1. Give ear, O my people, uh -huh. to my law. Uh -huh. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Come on. I will open my mouth in a parable. Read it. I will utter dark sayings of old, Come on. which we have heard and known, and our fathers have taught us. And our fathers have taught us. And our fathers have taught us. So if you go through the scriptures and you read and you come across all these sisters that you read in the Bible, there's a bunch. There's a lot of righteous sisters in the Bible. But you have to make the connection. It was connected to a righteous man, either their father or their husband. That's why these sisters got the proper breakdown. That's why these sisters was kind of worried to be in the Bible. Not because they took the, the put the torch by themselves and ran up and started ministering to the congregation. No. They was guided, they had guidance to a righteous man who had the mark of the most high. Read it. Psalm 78 and 3, which we have heard and known of our fathers. Excuse me. And our fathers have told us. Uh -huh. We will not hide them from their children. We men, we're not going to hide it from our children. We're not going to hide it from our children. We're going to raise them up, like I said, from the cradle. From the cradle. We're not going to get of age and get impressed with all the other schoolmates. Now when we try and bring something to them, it's hard for them to do it. Then they got their weak mama on the side pacifying them. Not at all, man. Not at all. We're going to raise them up in righteousness from the cradle. So it won't be no problem for them when they step out into the world to deny the wickedness. To deny it. Even to give them a fighting chance. Because the children today don't have a fighting chance because they don't know what to fight with. They just get swept away with what they see. And they see all the other little children do it. Oh, I mean, this America is a melting pot. You got people coming from all over the world with their, coming in with their own customers. And our children pick them up. So the children must know, oh, I'm not out. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. My children been going to school from kindergarten to we don't eat pork. We don't celebrate Christmas. From kindergarten. Blasting the teacher's mind. It's like, what? We don't do that. From kindergarten. Why why how can they do this? How can they have the strength to do this? Because they've been taught by their fathers. Again, the women, that's all they know. Yeah, yeah, of course that's all they know, because they've been taught by their fathers. But outside of these 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 households that have men that stand up. The women are so caught up in the system, they raise their children according to it, so the children don't have a fighting chance. They just say, go to church, go to school and learn. Learn. Make friends. Be happy. Have fun. And the children get caught. It's a trap for them. That's too much pressure to be putting the child on to go to school and just learn and have fun and grow up. Because what are they going to grow up with? All the madness that they see, they're not going to have that defense. They're not going to be able to say, that's not for me. They get caught up with the wicked. They grow up, they do the eight years, they go do the next four years.